In sports tonight, the Wildcats do it again. The West Tennessee boys lacrosse team claims its sixth straight sectional championship and its 27th sectional title in 32 years under head coach Mike Messier. Jenny takes care of Beeville in the Class A final. Cats open up a 4 to nothing lead. Brian Donahue finishes in front. Two goals for Donahue. Three goals for Brian's cousin, Colin. Ben Waldron starting the passing drill to Colin for the goal. 8-1, to one, Jenny with the lead as John Desco enjoys the action. The Bees score five goals in the fourth. Jeremy Boltis ripping it home, but it's not enough. The Cats claim the Section 3 Class A crown with a 13-8 win. Beville played inspired. They gave us all we wanted. It was great, and we needed that. But uh, we, we made a lot of mistakes, a lot of errors, a lot of things that we realized we can clean up. So we're not where we need to be yet. You know, coming back from last year, uh, we've worked hard all through the summer, and uh, we just wanted to make it count, and we still have a lot of work to do. Bevo gave us all that we could handle today. West Jenny plays Tuesday night at 8 at CNS in the quarterfinals of the state tournament. The Lemoyne baseball team going for its first NCAA tournament win since 1989. The Dolphins visit their regional's top seed, Texas A&M. Lemoyne making its first tourney appearance since 2004. Bottom of the first, A&M gets on the board. Craig Stinson, a two RBI single, two nothing Aggies. Aggies lead grows to five to nothing in the fourth when Dane Carter comes through with a two run single. The A&M fans standing for that, and they stand for this. A great defensive play by Dolphin center fielder Sean Pano. Pano making a diving catch and then crashing into the wall. Let's take another look at it, and you can actually see him crashing into the wall. Lemoyne loses 7-2, though. It'll face Ohio State tomorrow at 1 in an elimination game. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, the Syracuse Chiefs have won seven games in a row. Ray Almeida making it two to nothing. Then Kevin Barker making it four to one. And the big blow of the game for the Chiefs, Mr. Chad Matola. Matola comes through with a two run home run. The Chiefs roll by a score of six to one. Joe Torrey says A Rod shouldn't have said ha or whatever he said to Blue Jays third baseman Howie Clark. Torrey commenting on the matter before the Yankees series opener at Fenway. The Yankees score three in the second to take a nice three to nothing lead. The big blow, Robinson Cano, a two run homer, his third of the year. The Sox rally to tie it at three, but the Yankees take control with six in the fourth. Hey, Posada drives in three with a double. That makes it nine to three Yankees. And then the fun part, tempers flare. Joe Torre thrown out for arguing a caught stealing call against Bobby Abreu. Torre going at it with Jerry Crawford. Wagging the finger. Top of the night, Scott Proctor. Oh, my God. Throwing at the head of Kevin Euclid. Euclid not liking that at all. The bench is clear. This game finally over. The Yankees win 9-5. to five. All right. Clap it up. We'll just clap for everything. <laughs> Brandon Webb and the Diamondbacks taking advantage of the injury to play the Mets. Four Mets starters out of the lineup. They don't get many runs. Only one. Then Chris Snyder, a two-run homer for the D-backs to make it two to nothing. D-backs get three more on a Stephen Drew home run. D-backs win by a score of five to one. The SU Athletics Department confirms today that it'll be dropping its men's and women's swimming and diving programs following the 2007-8 academic year. In its place, Syracuse will start up a varsity women's hockey team to begin competing in the fall of 08. Finally, in other SU news, former Henniger star Greg Rommel is the seventh pick of the Major League Lacrosse draft. Rochester drafts him. Rod's favorite, Steve Panarelli, drafted by Chicago, 24th overall in the third round. Five Cornell players drafted, including Skinny Atlas star Eric Pitter. Washington takes him in the fifth round, so congrats. I, I told you Panarelli See? would make the big time. Exactly. <laughs> I predicted that years you had, ago. You had it right now. Okay. Along. Jim Teske with a very quick.